Hello viewers, in this video we will see how we can use Super Scanning DLC method to detect motion in a video. Uh, actually we are using a sample video uh, when using the real time webcam. Uh, if you like you can also use the real time webcam. Uh, before we start, we need to include some say libraries, the numpy and the library and then create a uh, object of the video capture uh, method from the OpenSea library. After that, we have to define the parameters for uh, the content detection algorithm. Uh, here, we are using Shikamoshi content detection algorithm. And we also have to define the parameters for the uh, Super Scanity algorithm. Uh, you can find uh, what this means in the OpenSea documentation. Uh, after that, we are creating some random colors and we are reading the first frame from the uh, video and we are converting it to the grayscale. The basic idea is to uh, take the first frame and run the Shikamashi corner detection to find the corner points and we will iteratively uh, track those points using the Lucas Kennedy optical flow. is used to find key points and after that we are masking it. Now we are running it in a while loop uh, to read all the frames from the uh, video capture object and we are using it inside a try access block uh, because when the video gets finished it throws an error that the source is empty so we have to handle this error and we are doing the same for the other frames converting into gray and now we have to calculate the optical flows and here we are passing the previous key point that we detected using the Shikamashi Thunder detection earlier and the Lucas Kennedy parameters that we defined here. Now we have to find good points that are uh, that could be uh, tracked through several frames and after that we have to place those optical flows uh, over the uh, frame uh, we are adding those into the frame and resizing it into a size of 450 width and uh, 300 uh, pixels height uh, actually the video I am using is from the internet to avoid copyright issue I have uh, Size the video into a shorter dimension and now we are uh, displaying that uh, video that is where uh, the optical flow will run and uh, we also have to update the frames and the previous points and this is to exit the loop that is done now we can run the program So as you can see, the optical flows started tracking that man walking in front of the car and it's keep tracking. Uh, if we run it again, here the optical flows started tracking it. It's simple and fun thing to do. You can try it on your own. You'll find the code link in the description. Thank you for watching.